The Eteguini mayor, Zandi Lokometa, has been released on 50,000 rand bail in the Durban Commercial Crimes Court in connection with alleged corruption. Gumete and two other suspects handed themselves over to the police this morning. Nine other officials, supply company owners and their companies were earlier charged in the same matter. They face a host of charges which include fraud, corruption, money laundering and racketeering. Our reporter, Spong Agoge Mbata, joins us now from our studios in Durban. Spong Agoge, let's first start with that uh, bail. Was there any reaction to her being released on bail? So far throughout the day, it's a piece. So what I can just track back for you was um, the incidents that occurred just outside the court doors because we do understand that um, the Durban Commercial Crimes Court is within a private building. So when we spoke earlier on about chaos that ensued outside court, it was outside the courtroom and not necessarily outside the courtroom building because since um, the court is within a private building. But I guess that was inclusive of all the reactions um, from um Gumeda's supporters they were particularly um against reporters trying to get a visual of the mayor who had just appeared and received 50,000 rand bail and what happened inside court during their appearance it was discussed between the state and the defense the state was not initially opposing bail and it did impose very strict bail conditions but now the defense questioned that why should the amount of money that was firstly called by the state which was a hundred thousand rand should be paid so in and at the end they all agreed that all the accused are to be released on 50,000 rand bail each. Going back into the contents of what they are being accused of, like we had mentioned, Tepi, so that um, their charges that they are facing are inclusive of fraud, racketeering, as well as corruption. The city of Eteguini has been engulfed by a numerous number of incidents that are in relation to either money going missing, um, money being misused, and such irrelevant um, or actually relative matters and of course recently building up to elections even this year we saw um, highlights of a strike that ensued where workers went on rampage close attempting to close out the municipality calling for the mayor to come and address them even though initially they were to be addressed by the city manager but they were initially calling for the mayor to come and address them because there seem to have been a lot of problems um, happening under her administration a week before elections to be so when we spoke to the ANC they did also also highlight that Eteguini is one city that they are very worried about. It is the party's most important city in the party's most strongest um, provinces, so they are very worried with what's happening. And when posed the question on whether or not will the party be taking any actions mm -hmm. um, against um, Gumete, they said that it was neither a thought nor a consideration. It would be interesting to find out what the provincial leadership of the party has to say with today's um, happenings. Okay. And during the day, Earlier on, SABC News did manage to speak to Tinta Klebane, um, who's leader of the region. He did highlight that they are also now, as the youth league, calling for uh, the, the mayor to be recalled. And then there's various civil organizations that, be, so that have also come forth All saying right. that well, the I mayor should be Let me just jump in there and ask you to, for the benefit of our viewers, just remind us of some of those uh, tenders, the supply chain management processes which were said to be manipulated who and what do they involve? Mm. The tender in question is in, uh, involving 208 million rand um, tender that was awarded to four companies that were not on Eteguini municipality's tender suppliers list. The 208 million rand was, of course, under the related development or rather department of Durban Solid Waste, which is a division under Eteguini municipality. So the money in question was, of course, awarded irregularly, apparently, to these four companies, which were not part of the municipality's supply chain. This is um, allegedly have been orchestrated by the municipal manager, man not manager, by the mayor, okay. and inclusive of his co-accused, who she appeared with today, um, who's senior um, municipal councillor Monjim Tembu, as well as the suppliers in question. It is indicated that there was a lot of, of intimidation orchestrated by the mayor herself to ensure that this process is seen through. Of course, well, there I'm are other um, number of people who are there. accused in the similar matter who appeared in court. Spong Agonke, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Spong Agonke, but uh, from Durban. Let's continue.